everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel uh, my name is Cheyenne and this is surviving but thriving so today I'm going to be doing a May budget with me May 2023 and just some things I wanted to touch on that I didn't touch on in my last video um, I did do my debt confession if you would like to see that I'll link it down below but um I live in Pennsylvania. I think I did say that, but if I did, if I did, I'll say it again. I live in Pennsylvania with my wife and our four-year-old son. So we do have a family of three. So you'll see those kind of, that kind of reflects in our budget. Um, I am a registered nurse and my wife is a general manager. So if you were wondering what our careers are, that's that. Um, we, where we live, it's pretty average cost of living. It's not too high, not too low. Um, our rent is what I would consider average. I don't know what everybody else, some people might see it and freak out, but, um, so I'm just going to go over our real numbers and show you what we're working with this month. There's nothing too crazy going on. We do have mother's day and my father is coming into town. So I did budget a little fun money, but other than that, it's a pretty average month. Hopefully everything goes to plan. So let's go over our goals for this month. Okay. So here's our income for May, what we're expecting. So I have it, it kind of looks kind of confusing when you look at it this way, but I get paid weekly. My wife gets paid bi-weekly. So every Friday we have some sort of income coming into the house, which is nice. I do like that we get paid. I get paid weekly at least. Um, if you look here, week one, if you'll see mine, so here's one, here's one, here's one. And here's one mine are very sporadic and like i said earlier i am hourly so the way my schedule typically works is i work 36 hours one week 54 the next 36 54 36 54 but especially in the summer months i like to pick up a lot of overtime one week out of the month so you'll see down here on may 26th i'm expecting 1600 for one week so that week I'm working like 60 hours or 60 something hours because in the summer we do like to do things. So I like to have at least one week out of the month that I have a little extra money coming in just to either make up for what we're going to spend or make up for what we did spend or make up for what we're going to spend. So when it starts to get nice out, I like to work a little extra. Now my wife, on the other hand, she's salary. So what she gets is what she gets and there's nothing she can really do about it. Um, but her average, what she pretty much brings home, there might be like a dollar or two off, but she typically brings sixteen twenty. And then down here, you'll see rollover. So the last paychecks we got in April were April 28th. So we had a lot left over because we only had bills to pay from April 28th to April 30th. So we rolled over about 2043. So all of those numbers together gives you $9,918.22. Now I know it seems like super high, but you also have to remember we rolled over $2,000. So we really only made like $7,000. Now we'll go over to bills. So bills is this little section right here. And I love this um, annual budget. If you're looking for one, I'll link this one down below. I got it off of Etsy. I did not create it myself. I wish I was that talented, but I will link it down below if you're interested. Um, so the first bill we have is rent and water. Our rent is fourteen seventeen. Like I said, that's pretty average. That's kind of low for our area. So maybe we are kind of high in cost of living. I don't know. Let me know what your rent is or what the area you live in, what your guys' rent is. Um, therapy, I am still in therapy, but it is now free. We upped our health insurance and I don't have to pay for therapy anymore. Uh, daycare is eight eighty two. dollars Now, this is... Let me see. I want to say we pay 205 50 every week, every Friday. And then I also included a little bit in here because my sister, uh, she's a teenager. So we pay her like 30 bucks to watch him for a few hours. Sometimes we want to have date night or if we want to, um, if he wants to spend the night over at my mom's house, we just give them money for food. So I did add a little extra into, into daycare. But typically it's about eight twenty two, I believe, for a full month of daycare. Then lemonade, lemonade is our renter's insurance. Um, we pay twenty two twenty five for that. Mint Mobile is my cell phone carrier. We're still working on my wife. My wife has Verizon down here. 
um, I pay every three months for my cell phone and I, it's due in June. So you'll see that in June, what I pay for Mint Mobile. Um, our electric is $138.17, pretty average now. It was, it used to be like $90, but it spiked and went to like $190 and then we slowly have to bring it down. We've been bringing it down for a couple months now. Um, I think what happened was we left our bed plugged in. We have a, I don't know if it's a sleep number or a Tempur-Pedic, one of those beds. And we left, I think we left it plugged in and it just kept running. And I think it spiked our electric bill. Uh, Talkspace is my psychiatrist. Uh, we pay $125 for that. Now, these are one of the things that I could lower if I wanted to because I could see someone in network. He's out of network. Um, so if I wanted to lower this, I could, but I just love him so much. He listens to me. He makes me feel and heard and seen. So I feel like it's worth it for my mental health to continue seeing him for $125. Uh, Geico is our car insurance. That is two sixteen thirty eight. That recently went up because I was in an accident about a year ago, and it was not my fault, but it still uh, spiked our insurance. Verizon, like I said, is my wife's phone bill. Um, she's on it with her best friend. They've had it for like fifteen years now at this point, um, but she has to pay off her phone and get things settled before she can just jump to Mint Mobile. So eventually she will join me with Mint Mobile. But it's usually like $90, but I budget $100 just in case. Just in case she goes over on data, even though I think she has unlimited data. I don't know. I just always budget $100 just in case. Uh, Xfinity is our Wi-Fi. That's $51. Life insurance, um, $32 and some change of that is hers. And then the rest is mine. Um, my life insurance policy is a little higher than hers just for personal reasons. Um, I have a lot more health issues and things, so I just chose one that's higher than hers. Um, and then speech and OT. Our son is in speech and occupational therapy, but we don't have to pay anything this month. And then sponsorships is our way of giving. Uh, we sponsor two children, one from Brazil and one from, I can't remember where Gumpy's from, Kenya. Kenya. Uh, so we pay $38 per kid. So that's $76 there. Now let's see. That would be a total of $3,109.80. And now we're going to jump over to expenses. So for expenses, we have groceries, of course. Groceries, we budget $700. Uh, we pretty much always stay on budget with groceries. Um, that's $175 a week. And that typically works for us. Last week, was the first week in months that we've gone over on groceries. So I'm really proud of us for getting that down. We used to spend over $1,000 on groceries at one point. And that was when our son was like two. So it wasn't even him. It was it was us just buying things that we didn't need. But now we've really gotten it down to, I feel like, a comfortable level. Now gas. I know you're all looking at this and wondering how we spend $650 a month on gas. We don't. I over budget on gas, but we do spend a lot in gas. We usually spend like four or $500 a month in gas. Now, my wife works an hour one way, five days a week, every week, sometimes weekends as well. She fills her car up every three or four days. And gas right now, I don't even know how much gas is because I just, I just don't look at it because I'm going to need gas regardless of how much it costs. So I don't look at it. But so she fills up every three or four days. I fill up about once a week. Yeah, I think once a week, once or twice a week. Um, but I drive an hour to work one or two days a week. It just depends on the week. But my other job is 20 minutes away. So it's not that bad. I'm a home health nurse, so I travel to houses, but I only travel to two different houses. So one is an hour away and the one is 20 minutes away. So it just depends on where I'm going. So that is why we spend so much in gas. Um, I have a Toyota Highlander and my wife has a Nissan Rogue. So it's not like they're like gas guzzlers or anything, but we just spend a lot on gas. Uh, health is $200. Now health is our prescriptions, our vitamins, um, shampoo, conditioner, hair products, toothpaste, toothbrushes, feminine products, 
all the things, toiletries, all the things. And then household is paper products, trash bags, dishwasher pods, laundry detergent, light bulbs, batteries, those kinds of things. Then we have Ty, Cheyenne, and Kean. So that's our names, <laughs> my wife, me, and our son. So this is personal money. Personal money, we go back and forth on because we, if we don't give ourselves personal money, we spend it anyways, if I'm just being honest. It started out as 180, then we brought it down to 120, and 120, we just blew through 120. So now we're back at 150, and I'm hoping that 150 works. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Um, my wife, I don't ask what she spends her personal money on. It's hers, and she's not a big budget person, so I'm not going to make her budget out her personal money and tell me what she spends it on. I don't care. As long as it stays within that 150, do what you want. But um, mine is a little different because... I have certain subscriptions that I don't include in our budget in there. So like Canva and things that I used to start my YouTube channel, they come out of my personal money. I don't take them out of our household money. Um, so that's what my 150 is used for. But I, I'm a sucker for a sweet tea from McDonald's. You know, I, I do spend my personal money on myself as well. But I do have a lot of subscriptions and things that come out of that. Kian, his used to be a lot higher, but he is now potty trained. So we don't have pull-ups or wipes anymore. So his has gone down a lot. So his is just like his haircut. Um, if he wants to get ice cream, things like that. Nothing really crazy. We had to buy a lot of underwear because of him being potty trained. But um, other than that, we, he usually sticks to his 60. It was 120 when he was potty trained. Well, before he was potty trained. Uh, restaurants, I just have 50 don't think there will be any eating out this month but i always we are quick like just picker uppers getting like okay i don't feel like cooking today i have a migraine let's just order one pizza from domino's or let's just get mcdonald's really quick while we're out so we don't really sit down and eat too often so 50 dollars should be fine and then miscellaneous i also put 50 dollars. we don't typically use our miscellaneous money and i usually just rolled it over into our savings challenge so I like to budget miscellaneous money even if we don't plan on using it or even if I don't think we're going to use it just so it goes into the savings challenge. Uh, shopping, car maintenance, medical bills, nothing. Um, and you'll see random sinking funds in here. And it's because I thought I wanted to do it a certain way in January. But once you put numbers in, you can't take them out or it'll take out all the data with the numbers. So I, I am leaving these in here, but if you look over here, I have sinking funds and I just kind of dump the money into sinking funds and then divide it out with where I want to put it. Um, medical bills, I put 20 just in case uh, key in or somebody, one of us has to go to the PCP. Uh, $20 is our copay, so I just put $20 there just in case. Holidays, I put 200 for Mother's Day, 50 for each of our moms and 50 for each of us. Seems simple enough. Nursing, nothing. Nursing, if you're wondering, um, because I am a nurse, I have to renew my license and things, and I am a member of a certain um, group. So whenever the fees are due and things like that, or if I want to, because I'm, I'm always wanting to learn something, so if I want to buy a textbook or anything, I put it under nursing. Mom, um, that's if my mom ever borrows anything or if, we go out to lunch and um, I don't want her to pay. I just sometimes I know we're going to go out to lunch. So I just put it under there. Vacation and all this, nothing. And then once the, once we're at the bottom, I put fun 100 because my dad is coming into town. And I think we might be going to the aquarium or something. So I'm just putting $100 aside just for that. Usually when he comes, he pays for dinners and things. So I'm not really expecting anything much for that. And then Starbucks is 40 and that's something we're working on is getting Starbucks out of here and just using our own personal money. But we're not there yet. <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> but the total for our expenses is $2,470. And then we're going to move over to debt. Um, we have credit one, number one. And if you've seen our debt confession, then these all look familiar. Um, 176 is our 
that includes the minimum payment and the snowball payment credit one number one and then coles and city one are paid off wall span is a hundred dollars it's a medical bill quicksilver is 103 a firm is 76 76 76 66 credit one number two is 60 upgrade is paid off capital one auto is 50709 Exeter, which is my car payment, is four sixty nine, dollars and then Apple is one thirty. dollars Apple used to be $125, I believe, but it is now $130. So our minimum debt payments are $1,621.75. Then we shall go up to savings. Um, nothing in the emergency fund for now. For now. Um, buffer is going to be $30.00. That just buffer kind of goes, it's kind of, it kind of goes along with miscellaneous for us. Um, we don't typically use it. So it ends up going into a savings challenge or it just goes into our debit account cushion, which we don't really track. It just kind of stays, it just kind of stays in there. Um, rollover is what it, where you're taking from May into June. So that is $1,847 roughly. I have a hard time figuring out what we need to roll over because we use cash for our variable expenses. So I don't know how much cash we're going to have left and, you know, things like that. Sinking funds, I'm hoping to stuff $350 in those this month. And then savings challenge. I have the only savings challenge we're doing is the 100 envelope challenge. Um, and we're at about $400 in there, I think. And we started it in March. Um, so savings challenge, I'm hoping to put at least $264 in there for May. And I think that would be good. So savings, we have $2,490 and 99 cents. And then if we go over here, it says that I have $84.22 left to budget, but I'm going to leave that there just because when we roll over, today's the first, so when we roll over, I don't know what has come out. When it, If it came out for April 30th or if it came out for May 1st. So I just leave that in there just in case my rollover isn't accurate. So I, I want a zero-based budget, but I don't necessarily get a zero-based budget because I like to leave just a little bit, like a hundred or two in there, just in case. So that is our budget for the month. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. If you look over here, our total income was $99.18, bills $31.09, subscriptions $141.46, uh, expenses $24.70, savings $24.90, debt $16.21, and then we have that left over. But I really do love this spreadsheet. Um, subscriptions, that's what I forgot. Let's go do that. I thought I forgot something. Okay. So our subscriptions, they're a work in progress. Okay. So we have iCloud storage, $2.99, Netflix, $21.19, YouTube premium, $13.77. And I know people are like, girl, just watch the ads. Just watch the ads. But it's not about the ads. It's not about the ads. Well, it is kind of about the ads. But it's also... Whenever my son was allowed to watch YouTube, which he's not anymore. If you're looking for kid-friendly apps, let me know and I'll let you know what they are. But he's no longer allowed to watch YouTube anymore. But we could, when we would go on road trips, you can download YouTube videos to watch offline. And that's what sold me on YouTube Premium. But also, I like listening to ASMR videos when I sleep. It's a thing. It just helps. And... I don't want an ad screaming in my ear when I'm asleep. So it is partly the ads. So I'm working on getting rid of YouTube premium, but it's here to stay for right now. Homer is an educational app for my son. Um, they offered me a deal for $30 for the year for premium when we were paying $9.99 a month before. So they offered me a deal for $30, so I took it. So it comes out May 4th, I think, Typically, premium is like $80 or something like that, but they offered it to me for $30, so I took it. Discovery Plus is $741. Disney and Hulu, I have the bundle, I think, 
If not, they both come out the same day and it's typically $17. Planet Fitness, $19.99. Have not been since before Kian was born, but she still has the membership, you know? It's still here, but we're working on it. <laughs> Prime, uh, $7.94. If you're wondering why my Prime is so low, um, I was a college student in 2022 and I had the um, Prime student price and I still, I'm still being charged that until I think the end of this year and then it'll go up to like the regular price, which I don't even know what it is. Uh, Paramount Plus is $10.59. HBO Max, I just canceled the other day, so saved $10.59 there. Apple Fitness, I bought an Apple Watch like six months ago and I had a uh, free six months Apple Fitness until now. May is the first month that I'm paying for it, but I will be keeping it. So we did add a subscription this month. Got rid of one, but added one. And then Kian's Health is zero. Um, there was a medication or a, I guess a, I guess you'd call it a medication that was not covered by insurance or anything that we had him on. Um, and it did help. But um, it just got to be a little bit much. It was uh, $90 a month for a month's supply. So we got April's supply and then we're weaning him off of it starting in May. So we're sa we saved $90 there. So I think I covered everything now. Uh, if you guys have any questions on anything, please let me know. And here, the chart, as you add your income to the actual section, it'll show you like what's left to spend and then at the bottom has the transaction tracker so you can write the date, the amount, and then it has your categories in here. And then you can um, see where your money went. Um, it's just really nice. It's, it's really nice. So I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested. Um, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, please comment them down below. Um, I'm really excited for May. April was kind of a bust for us. Um, a lot of things happened in April, um, but we did pay off three credit cards. So there's that. Um, but if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I don't know how many times I can say that, but I will see you guys in my next video. Not sure what that's going to be yet. If you guys have any ideas or what you guys would want, let me know in the comments as well. Also follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that down below. You can also DM me on there if you have any questions or concerns or comments or anything. Just let me know. But please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye.